Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, August 19th, 2021. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Here's a look at the daily time frame of the ES, and you'll see here that we have gotten one of those typical three to four day pullbacks uh, underway, kind of uh, like what we've seen here recently over the past several months. Um, this year, We've seen several of these just year to date. If you go to year to date, we've talked about how often we've seen these uh, these little pullbacks here. They're not huge uh, in the overall scope of things. They are just great counter trend moves here that allow um, price to pull back a bit before it rises to the next upside targets. Uh, at the moment, we are seeing weakness obviously over the last three days but the expectation is uh, a bounce could be seen rather soon a forceful bounce at that and one that could easily return price back to recent highs and likely through those highs what we've talked about here recently is this key range right here and that key range has an upside target at 45.45 uh, price on this pullback say today continues to linger near these lows or trade near these lows uh, tomorrow could be a failed new low opportunity. Friday, failed new low, which could be a trap below 43.50. That could return prices back toward recent highs of 44.75 and then through those highs into 45.45 as a continuation. Very similar to this pullback, holding, bouncing to the, you know, back to the previous highs, then through those highs. Over here, same thing, pulling back, back to the highs, and then through those highs. So right now, again, uh, looking at weakness here currently, trying to find a good strong low to lean on, and a failed new low opportunity could be in play tomorrow, which could uh, bring about a pretty strong reaction day followed by a continuation. Right now, increasing volatility state for this market, the 5-day ADR is 42 points versus a 10-day, which is 32 points. So we've gotten a 33% increase in uh, and volatility here just in the last several days. All right, let's take a look now at the NQ. NQ also down here uh, early today. Again, a nice three-day pullback. One thing we talked about a few days ago was this signal right here in that midpoint. Uh, the midpoint, very important, especially when a signal is inside a trading range. If there's any failure to hold that by the end of the day, it could end up with some sort of flush event. We're seeing that play out right now. We're now through the previous month's low pr uh, midpoint, rather, which could open up a price as low as the previous low. Uh, this market really hasn't seen lower lows in a long while, but we've just kind of taken one out. So how much lower do we go? Do we go into that 14.4? Do we go into 14.2? Anywhere in that zone could be an ideal opportunity to bounce this back to 15K and likely up towards 16k which is the next major upside target up ahead so major uh, upside potential here if we can find a strong reactionary bottom here some sort of strong low we may have another day or two of downside and then soon we could see a good bounce opportunity so looking for further pullback here until proven otherwise and then looking for a snapback reaction any test and the 14.4 or 14.2 could be the ideal zone for a major rejection ahead. Let's take a look at crude oil. Right now, this one is down 3% today. And through the previous uh, month's low price, through the key range low, it's something we talked about before. Even though price was developing and holding here, it just hasn't tested that low. It kind of needs to flush, especially on lower highs. And we've now seen this thing take out those lows. Uh, and drop not only uh, into into these uh, lows here but also taking out some of these FOMC key levels along the way which had been um, untested for a long while so this is significant move right now if you look at the way it's played out again 76 significant CLVN in the charts especially the weekly time frame we mentioned before that after all of this strength if we can't get through we may see a pullback in trade within 64 to 65 up to those 76s we saw that play out um, but now what you're also seeing is a failure here to hold the previous quarter's midpoint 
This is after the previous quarter's high has been rejected. It's after the previous quarter's close has been offered. So the only other logical level here to test is the previous quarter's low price. That comes in just shy of 58s there. And uh, that could be in play as long as price stays below 66 now. That's the previous quarter's mid. We took it out yesterday, below it now. If it bounces uh, into that mid and sees rejection, that could be an ideal sell for a continuation downward toward a rising 200 day and also that previous quarter's low. So right now, very bearish here for crude oil. Uh, the failure to hold 66 is significant. Really needs to reclaim 66s in order to kind of bounce this thing back up. Failure to hold that zone and we're rotating back toward uh, 60 to 58. All right, let's take a look now at gold futures. Bringing up gold right now, this one is up on the day mildly. Uh, this one has had a significant reactionary move after that flash event here, a great snapback, uh, not only for the day of the snap event, but the two day sell off is still in view. That's about 1806s. We're a little bit off that level right now. Failed new low developing today with the previous session's low holding right now. That could provide, as long as it holds above the blue dot in this zone here, remember 1760, any pullback as low as 1760 could still be bought for a move across the range. So not only are we looking for this thing to go back to 1806s, but likely back toward 1835 to 1840 as long as 1760 can continue to hold. All right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.